hi guys so welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look here so this is like a, a sort of cool tone cut crease um, with like a silver pigment on the eyes and I have done some wing liner as well so you can see how I do my wing liner I have used the Jeffree Star Audrey palette um, I just I do really love this palette because it has got a mix of sort of well all the neutrals that you need really um, I'll just show it off really quickly so it's quite messy but I do really like the shade variety here um, and I have used it in today's look so I do hope that you like it so this is it it's just uh, a nice sort of um, smoky cut crease and then you've got a bit of wing liner as well and a full lash so I did want to do something quite different on my channel um, as I don't really use cool tones and we are at the start of February so I feel like this is kind of like a grungy sort of like anti-Valentine's type look um, so tomorrow I might do something a bit more like romantic and Valentine's-y because um, this will go up sort of the week before Valentine's which would be quite nice as always guys you can follow me on social media I'm on TikTok, Twitter and Instagram and that's under Chloe KH um, if you do recreate any of my looks then please tag me I would love to see it well, I hope that you guys do enjoy this tutorial and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Hi guys. So we're all nice and zoomed in now. Uh, so I'm going to be taking the darkest shade from the Orgy palette and this one's called uh, Glory Hole just here. So I'm just going to take this on my uh, really small pencil brush just to help sketch out the shape um, because we're just doing sort of this look here today which is quite a rounded um, smoky cut crease. So for this part I do just sort of keep my eye open and just um, sketch around the shape of my eye. Okay, so I went um, quite rounded with this because um, I wanted to be able to see the silver through the, the big lashes. Uh, so I've just gone a little bit sort of higher than my, um, than my crease there. And I haven't gone too thick with the black eyeshadow because I do want it to um, to blend out as I am using cool tones today. So for the next shade, I'm going in with this one here called Scorpio. Just on a slightly fluffier brush to blend a little bit on the shade and a little bit off. So I am using cool tones today. They aren't my favourite shadows to use. I do prefer uh, warm tones as I just think they look much better on me. But I wanted to do quite a smoky look to have a bit more of a variety on my channel. So I'm just being super careful here because um, I just find that black eyeshadow, if, you, if you're not careful when you're blending it, it can just look... I don't know, it just makes all the other shadows look really just dark and and not you can really tell when black eyeshadow isn't blended, it just goes oh it just goes awful. So I'm just trying to keep it close and just sort of blend it out a little bit at a time. I don't want it to muddy up the other shadows. So I'm just going in with a slightly bigger pencil brush with nothing on just to help blend that um, well grey eyeshadow out around it. Okay then I'm going in with this shade here called Bed or Floor. And I'm just going to go back in and sort of deepen the shades a bit. So it's Saturday and I think it's about three o'clock. Um, I've had Jake at home all day today. So usually I lose him on a Saturday to football. He usually has sort of football training and then football practice. 
um, and then he sort of usually goes for uh, drinks with the guys after. But he actually hasn't had football today. So, um, what did we do? We went to the gym. Uh, then we went to town. Jake wanted to try the new chicken Big Mac. Uh, he loved it. I wasn't really keen on trying it, so I just had a chicken legend with spicy mayo. But, um, yeah, it's been... It's, <sighs> It's actually just really nice to have a Saturday with him because they sort of happen once in a blue moon. I mean, football's his priority for a Saturday. Um, and he's just sort of in the other room now gaming just whilst I've come in here to film a look. And then he's going in for some overtime tomorrow. Um, so I'll come in here and film again tomorrow morning. So I'm not really worried about sort of this region too much um, as I'm going to cover it with a bit of liner anyway. So just, wow, with that I just work smarter, not harder. So I'm going to take my little trick of taking this little sort of uh, pointed cotton tip with some micellar water and just wipe away because uh, I do want to wipe most of this region away. Then just going to blend uh, the concealer with the shadow. So as I said, I'm not sort of overly fussed about this outer corner because we're going to be putting a, a wing liner there anyway. So I am just going to put some NYX Glitter Glue on the lid, just ready for the pigment. Okay, so we're going really like old Hollywood today, and I'm going in with the Sugar Pearl Grand Tiara pigment. Oh, so when um, Jake and I were in town earlier, uh, we were just sort of waiting in the, in the doorway at um, Tui to pay off our holiday. And there was this cute little doggy, and um, we just saw him come up to the window, and he was going to put some rubbish in the bin. Um, and then he ran back to his owner, and his owner gave him a treat, and I just, oh, Jake and I just sort of melted on the floor in the shop. It was just so cute. I just love doggies. So for my wing liner, I'm going to be using the Benefit uh, Roller Liner, a liquid liner pen. So I like to start from the outer corner first and just sort of measure up, um, but I usually do from the waterline just up at this sort of angle. And then I drag it back. So I don't sort of drag it back from the very tip. I come from like here. So I've still got that long um, bit there. So it's not too thick the whole way uh, through the liner. And then I'll do a thin line here. I don't like it to be too chunky the whole way through. Um, I like it to be quite chunky on the end because I always go for a lash that's a bit more dramatic, sort of this side rather than this side. So literally just that. And then I'll do sort of a corner wing here. So I'm just going to clean up this under eye quickly right here and then pop a little bit base down and I'll be back. Okay, so for my inner corner, for that little liner here, I am going to be using my Inglot, uh, what's it, 77 uh, gel liner with the Inglot Jura line just to um, sort of give it a new lease of life because it's um, cracked and dry and this just sort of reactivates it again. Okay, so back into Glory Hole.
Scorpio. And bed or floor. So I didn't want a really dark waterline, um, I don't think that it suits me, so I've just gone in with the um, Benefit Eye Bright pencil, as it's like, it's like a nice sort of flesh tone pencil. Okay, so I'm going to throw a lash on um, and then do the rest of my base. So the lashes that I've used are the Face Fairy. Um, Prima Lash ones, they're called Fairy Godmother. Okay, so I have just um, jumped back on camera to just quickly film my lips. Um, so I'm gonna go with um, a nice sort of glossy nude lip. So I'm going in with my Vive um, Bark Lip Definer. Then in with a pale nude, and this one is uh, Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. And then I take my finger. And just sort of rub it with a lip liner, just like Jamie Genevieve. Okay, so gloss time, and I'm using the Jeffree Star Blow My Candle Supreme Gloss. So I'm just going to clean up any sort of areas around my outer corner and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Hi guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, so it was something a little bit different for me. I don't always use cool tones, um, but I did want to do something quite smoky to show a bit more variety on my channel. Um, I did really want to do like a red lip to be like really old school Hollywood um, but I've played it safe and I've gone with sort of um, a glossy new lip today. So for those of you who don't know I am on other forms of social media. You can find me on TikTok, Twitter and Instagram and that's under the same handle which is at Chloe KH with two E's but I'll pop that below in the description box. So if you guys do create this look or recreate any of my other looks that I have filmed then please tag me I'd love to see it. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!